refunding or voiding a card within CardPoint. So the first thing that we're going to do is select a transaction that has been processed inside of the Sage system that we would like to refund or void inside of the CardPoint interface for whatever reason you would want to do that. So the a key thing to keep in mind here is that voids happen before the batch is closed, refunds happen after the batch is closed. So the first thing we're going to do is select a transaction that does not have a process status, and this will allow us to void. But keep in mind this process is exactly the same for one that has been processed. So what we'll do is we'll come in here, take a look at the authorization amount, and I recommend that you look at the transaction ID and auth code just to make sure that you're going to be voiding the correct transaction. You come up to the top, click Void. It will prompt you to be sure that you want to avoid the transaction, which I recommend. And then click OK after you verify the information. And you'll see that we now have a voided amount field that tells us the amount that was voided. Now regarding a refund, let's go and find an older transaction, one that already has the status of processed. So you can see we've got quite a few of them here. Let's scroll down a little bit more and let's take a look at this 29 cent transaction here. So just like how on the one that was in the batch that wasn't closed yet, here we had a void button, um, but now instead because this batch has been processed, we can click the refund button and it will prompt you for a refund reason. Now, again, I really highly recommend that you verify that you are refunding the correct transaction. And when you click the refund button here and give it a refund reason and verify the amount, then you can refund and it will display that amount here that has been refunded. And we can see that we have a new entry in the transaction history that also denotes that. 